the Bible is a book of prophecies and um, in the book of Isaiah chapter 45 it prophesies about King Cyrus of Persia this is what the Lord says to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand I take hold of to subdue nations before him and to strip kings of their armour to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut I will go before you and will level the mountains I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron I will give you the treasures of darkness riches stored in secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, whom summons you by name. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen, I summon you by name and bestow on you a title of honor. Though you do not acknowledge me, I am the Lord, and there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. I will strengthen you though you have not acknowledged me, so that from the rising of the sun to the place of its setting, man will know there is none beside me. For the, sorry, I am the Lord and there is no other. I form the light and create darkness. I bring prosperity and create disaster. I, the Lord, do all these things. You heavens above rain down righteousness let the cloud shower it down let the earth open wide let salvation spring up let righteousness grow with it i the lord have created it woe to him who quarrels with his maker to him who is but of but a portrait among the portraits on the ground does the clay say to the potter, What are you making? Does your work say he has no hands? Woe to him who says to his father, What have you begotten? Or to his mother, What have you brought to birth? This is what the Lord says, The Holy One of Israel and its Maker, concerning things to come. Do you question me about my children or give me orders about the work of my hands? It is I who made the earth and created mankind upon it. My own hands stretched out the heavens. I marshaled their starry hosts. I will rise up Cyrus in my righteousness. I will make all his ways straight. He will rebuild my city and set my exiles free but not for a price or reward, says the Lord Almighty. Here, it's prophesying that, that Cyrus, King Cyrus will rebuild the city of Jerusalem. He will rebuild my city and set my exiles free. He will also set the, the Judeans free, but not for a price or reward, says the Lord. He will just do it willingly, without any payment or reward. This is what the Lord says, the products of Egypt and the merchandise of Cush and those tall Sabians that will come over to you and will be yours. They will trudge behind you, come over to you in chains. They will bow down before you and plead with you saying, Surely God, is with you and there is no other there is no other god truly you are a god who hides himself a god and savior O israel all the makers of idols will be put to shame and disgrace together but israel will be saved by the lord With an everlasting salvation, you will never be put to shame or disgrace to ages everlasting. For this is what the Lord says, He who created the heavens, He is God. 
He who fashions and made the earth, he founded it. He did not create it to be empty, but form it to be inhabited. He says, I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret for somewhere in a land of darkness. I have not said to Jacob, descendants, seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Gather together and come. Assemble you fugitives from the nations. Ignorant are those who carry about idols of wood, who pray to gods that cannot save. Declares what is to be present. He let them take counsel together. Who foretold this long ago? <coughs> who declared it from the distant past? Was it not I, the Lord? And there is no God apart from me, a righteous God and a Saviour. There is none but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. Here, God is telling that he is also the Saviour. All the ends of the earth is a, he's giving Isaiah a prophecy that that Jesus Christ will come and save people from all the ends of the earth through his crucifixion on the cross that those who believe in him would have eternal life and go to heaven that is eternal life to live forever with God so turn to me and be saved all you uh, ends sorry all you ends of the earth for I am God and there is no other by myself I have sworn my mouth has uttered in all integrity a word that will not be revoked. Before me every knee will bow, by me every tongue will swear. They will say of me in the Lord alone are righteousness and strength. Who All who have raged against him will come to him and be put to shame. But in the Lord all the descendants of Israel will be found righteous and will exalt. That's in E X U L T. The Bible is a book of prophecies, and whatever that's prophesied in the Bible, most of it has already been fulfilled. And those who are not been fulfilled are going to be fulfilled. For God is a God who gives prophecies through his prophets. And things are fulfilled. The Bible is the book that has the most manuscripts backing it up, and the book that has the most prophecies fulfilled. Give your life to Jesus, and He'll change your life through the Holy Spirit and through His blood on the cross. See you on my next video.